Okay, um, this is the second MCAS practice problem we're going to try. And again, this has to do with genetics. And this one has to do with colorblind versus not being colorblind. So I think this is a pretty cool one because uh, usually everyone knows someone who has been colorblind. So let's read the question. In red-green colorblindness, individuals cannot perceive the colors red and green in the same way as individuals um, with, color, with full color vision. Full color vision is coded by the dominant allele big B on the X chromosome. Red-green color blindness is caused by a recessive allele, little b, on the X chromosome. Um, so this is an example of a sex-linked um, trait. So we're going to go in and see how we can solve this problem. First part, it says identify the phenotype of a female um, with the genotype X with the B, big B here, and X with little b. So phenotype is your physical characteristic, and the genotype is the genetic makeup. So for part A, um, here it has a big B and a little b. The big B stands for the dominant allele, which is full color vision, and the recessive is color blindness. So because they have one of these alleles that is full color blindness, the phenotype for this um, female is going to be full color vision. They can see fine. For part B, it says identify the phenotype of a male with a genotype um, X with a B here and Y. Um, so these are the sex chromosomes. So males are typically XY and females are typically XX. So for this guy right here, they have one of the dominant um, alleles, big B. So that stands for the dominant allele, which is cold, full color vision. So this guy right here, he's going to see fine too. So he's full color vision. Okay, it's going to get a little fancier here now. Draw a Punnett square for the cross for this right here and identify the following. We've got to figure out the percentage of offspring expected to have male to be male and colorblind and the percent of offspring expected to be female and colorblind. So I'll clear this out here so we have a little more space to write. Part C. So let's draw a Punnett square to start. And really only... We'll write this here. So the first person is X with a big B, X with a big B, and then X with a small B. So this is your female. And then we have the guy right here. We have X with a big B, and then Y. So for this sex link trait, you're only going to see this colorblind trait on the X chromosome. So then we just cross this up like a normal Punnett square. We have X, big B, X, big B, X, big B, Y, that, make that look like an X there. And then we have X, big B, and then X, little b, and then we have X, little b, and then Y. So let's attack this first part. The percentage of offspring expected to be male and colorblind. So guys are going to be X, Y. These right here are our guys right here. One has the dominant allele, which is full color vision, and one has the recessive, which is color blindness. So you're only going to have this one here that is a male and he's color blind. So what percent of that? Well, that's one out of four. So 25% of are going to be male and that red green color blindness. And the percentage of offspring expected to be female and colorblind. Well, our only 50% only are females over here, so we have this. Both of these have the dominant trait. And this one right here, this woman has a dominant and a recessive, but the dominant still takes hold. So actually, there is 0% um, female and colorblind. Okay, our last question. Explain why red-green color blindness occurs more frequently in males than in females. Um, this is usually the case because, you know, if you're a female, you have two X chromosomes. So if you have one, like for this one right here, if you have one colorblind allele, you have another allele to make it better. But for guys, guys only have one X chromosome. So if they get one bad colorblind allele, 
then they're more likely to get that trait. So that's why I usually typically see males that are more, that are colorblind and there's less females that are colorblind. All right, that's it. Thank you very much.